I'm even part of those certain people that believe that you shouldn't look your problem, okay? So the fact that you have a whole lot of problem you're battling with, you shouldn't look like it. And that should be shown in your dressing. You don't have a whole lot of money, but yet you want to have this amazing look that whenever anybody sees you, they'll be like, really? This girl has a whole lot of money. You know, you don't have a lot of it, but yet you look so expensive. That is the major point of this show today. This is Wisdom Yard Online TV, and you know this is Lifestyle Show with Ayomi Gold. If you yet to subscribe to our channel, please do so, as we are having a whole lot of content that will be life changing and transforming your lifestyle as a whole. So, as I was saying, I said, you shouldn't look like your problem. Of course, you already have one thing or the other disturbing you, but you are going out. People see you first before they know that you have this particular problem. So tend to slay and people would appreciate who you are without knowing you. The very first thing you need to know is that you don't have to break a bank to slay. You don't have to have all money in the old world for you to be able to look beautiful, look expensive, and look takeaway. So the very first thing you need to do on our tip in order for you to look beautiful yet not spending a whole lot is that you need to do some wardrobe audits. I'm very sure that you have those clothes in your wardrobe. There are a whole lot of them. But those, these particular clothes, you've not even touched You've not touched 15% of it in the last 10 days or even, or even two weeks. Let me put it that way. But you feel like I don't have clothes again. There's nothing I want to wear. Ah, ah, oh yeah, let's go. I don't have clothes. What's happening to those ones in your wardrobe? Okay, fine. They are not good. You don't like them again. And give it out. Give it out. Give it out to people. And you can even discard some. So let there be space so you can even know what you're lacking. You have a whole lot of pants, you have a whole lot of tops, but none of it can you rock outside. So why don't you just take this ones, look for new ideas on how to rock them. Okay, this particular pants is having a kind of tacky look. Okay, let me change you to something like, um, how do you call it, like a kind of crazy jean. With that, even whether it has a tacky look, it wouldn't come out. So you can rock it like having a nice look, a crazy jean on another top. You feel like, okay, this particular top is not looking so good on the front. Change it, the style. You can wear it upside down. You can just look for a whole lot of style in schools. And with that, you have some, you're having something to wear out. So you've done wardrobe audit. From those things that you've gotten out of the wardrobe that you feel like you're no longer wearing, you can decide to do a kind of um, gifting out. If you don't gift out, you can decide to sell them. Yes, people tend to sell their clothes. You've worn these clothes. People have seen you looking so gorgeous and neat. And there's still somebody that is feeling like, ah, this particular clothes, I was unable to buy it when it came out. And you, you have it in your wardrobe. Why don't you just take them out, sell them? So after selling them, you've realized some money. This money that you've realized, instead of you now thinking you now want to buy yourself good clothes, go to thrift market. See, in this life, eh, when you wear designer brand, it does not differentiate you from the person that is wearing a thrift brand. Yes, it's just that both of you are slaying differently. But if both of you should come out, you will see some people wearing designer wear and they look like I don't want to talk about it. And you see somebody just wearing the basic wear, looking so beautiful. I'm not saying designer brands are not good, but you have to slay within your budget. So the money you've gotten from your wardrobe audit, take them to thrift store. You will see a whole lot of thrift store on Instagram where you can buy for low. You can still get a top for 2000 You can still get a top for 1005 and that is affordable. Look for style inspo on penny trays that you can always rock them together with. So instead of taking your money to buy expensive designer brand, go for thrift instead. Another tip you can take is that 
you should use the 100 time buying skill. I want to talk about the 100 time buying skill. It has to do with buying clothes that has nice materials, especially cotton material, you know, material that can stay long. There's no materials that when you wash twice, it's already fading or it's already having a kind of um, tearing out. So get quality materials, clothes that you know that when you wear them, you can still wear them a hundred times and you still feel like, oh no, I'm dressing well, like you're okay in that particular way you're wearing. So those are the kind of clothes you should invest in. Another thing is that you should invest in basic colors. Basic colors are colors that um, you know that can go to, you can mix them with all the colors and that comes black, that comes gray and the brown. So you see this ones that I've mentioned, you should always get them in pants, in tops, in um, your accessories, you want to get your shoes, get a whole lot of black shoes. Nobody is going to know. It's you that will know that, okay, it's this black shoe I wore yesterday. The way you rock it, when somebody sees you and they'll be like, this is another way. You know, you have that black shoe, you're wearing it on something else, you have that nice black accessory. You know, the way you wear them, people won't even understand that it's just the same one you're wearing or they are just four that you have. So don't invest too much on colors that you know that you won't be able to match them with what you have with you. Yes, as I was saying, accessories. Accessories are very, very important. You don't need to get um, yourself a diamond or gold or something very expensive. Go for basic accessories. Accessories as a way of making you look like you're more than who you are. You know, when you just combine simple yet classy accessories with whatever you're wearing, people will see you and be like, oh no, this girl is classy and quite expensive. No one knows when the color is already gold. It's not everybody that knows whether it is um, good replica or original good. Who even cares about that? Just wear something you're comfortable with and at the same time, you're not breaking the bank. So those are the major things you should do in order to slay on budget. You can check Instagram for a whole lot of ways you can, re, you can repackage those dresses that you have at home. You have a particular shirt. The shirt can go as a crop top some days. The shirt can go as a wrap. Even there are some, some of your shirts, you see all those, um, if you check fashion assistants on Instagram, you will see a whole lot of ways you can rock your wears. You will see some people making scarves into top. So all these things, when you do them, you look classy, yet you're not breaking the bank. And that is the mission. Everybody has to live a comfortable lifestyle without disturbing themselves. You, you, so you shouldn't look like your problem. That is very, very important. People should not know problem through you. So thank you very much for joining me today on this show. I hope I've been able to educate you on the basic things you can do. But if you feel like there's other things that can be done, please make use of the comment section to drop your suggestion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to every other social media platform. And until next time, I remain Aishomi Kung. Wow.